Pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're one to the assistant head coach position and defensive coordinator, and one is the offensive coordinator. So obviously he's trying to shuffle the deck a little bit to get a, a more improved team. Mike, as the Hokies take the field, uh, you can look across us. Uh, there's probably four sections which are kibble. Ball is teed up on the 35-yard line, and we are glad you are tuned in for tonight's game. Kibble swings the left leg through. Ball is in the air. The opening kickoff sails to the goal line, where it is fielded by Kenyatta Carter. Running it up the left side of the 5 to the 10-yard line, and a wall of Hokies are there to push him backwards. And down he goes. Ike Charlton, first one there. See where they 7 3 22. The right tackle and right guard are humongous. First down for Temple from the 15 yard line out of the I formation. A running play. Mack, the fullback, takes the handoff and breaks free across the 20 to the 23 yard line. Tripped up by John Engelberger at the just Kersey had that long 75 yard TD at Lane Stadium last year. Second and one, the give is the Mack. Up the middle he goes. Tate pops him and knocks him backwards. Mack spins towards the 25 yard line and is knocked down there. Can be very close. 25 yard line. Again, the backs are in an offset high now. Two receivers to the left. There's the snap. The give is to Al Marco Jackson, and he plows three for the first down ahead of the 27 yard line before Nate Williams make. Two minutes gone by. No score. First quarter. And now whistles blow. 15 for the Owls. Back on their own 23. No score in the game. Back to throw is the quarterback. Hokies are coming to get him. He's scrambling to his left. Evades one tackle, then tries to run with the football around the left side, and he's knocked down hard on the 25-yard line by Hairston, who really was Kersey is wide to the right, and Walker to the left. Lone back now. A single back is El Marco Jackson. Second down and 11. They're going to run the option play to the right side. Harvey keeping it, and down he goes before he could ever make a decision to pitch or run. The Hokies, Nate Williams was there to bring him down. Steve Tate as well chasing his team. The Hokies lead the league in sacks. Third down and 11. Back to throw is Bonner. Dumps it off on the left side. It's a short hops, a live football. No, incomplete pass. And the quarterback, Harvey, laying down on his back. The Hokies, Keon Carpenter blocked a Temple punt last year. The Owls used the same alignment that Rutgers did with three men between the line of scrimmage and the punter. Here's a low snap to the punter. Hokies are going to block it. Instead, the punter's going to try to run with the football. Stewie is there to tackle him. Down he goes on the 16. Had he tried to kick it, it would have been punted, uh, blocked rather. There were three Hokies there to block it. There was no blocking whatsoever by Temple. And Boyce said, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Tried to run with it, and Stewie threw him down on the 18. What great job by that punt return team, Bill. There were five white shirts in the backfield. Good start there by Virginia Tech. Al Clark under center. The backs are in the eye. First down, a toss to Ken Oxidine. And the tailback running right has a hold of a 20. Cuts outside at the 15. Still going at the 11. And he's knocked down there. Tackle made by Burgess. It is Cullen Hawkins, by the way, without the huddle. Second down, three yards to go. Ball is on the 11 yard line, right hash mark. There's the snap, handoff up the middle. Oxidine runs for the first down to the five yard line, and he's gang tackled there. First one to hit him was McCallum, the linebacker. First and goal now for two tight ends and a power eye formation with three men in the backfield for Virginia Tech. Ellison is the third back. The give is to Oxendine running right, and the Owls corral him at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as Lucas, the cornerback, will get credit for clouds above. No rain at the moment. Second down, goal to go, ball on the five-yard line. Al Clark the snap, a play fake, rolling right, looking to throw. Now going to run with the football right side to the five, puts his head down at the two-yard line, and he's hammered out of bounds right there. Temple player Lucas had his helmet go flying trying to make that tackle on Clark. Temple got a first down on its opening possession, but after trying to punt, the Hokies tackled. Third and goal on the one-yard line. Again, a power eye formation for Virginia Tech. Hawkins in motion. There's the snap. Clark hands it off to Oxendine, and he runs over the right side into the end zone. Touchdown, Tech. Ken Oxendine, who had three touchdowns against Temple last year, gets his first of the night, his second of the year, and the Hokies lead here in this first quarter. Just did nothing fancy there, Bill. Went back to the run over the right side. The Ox just kind of looked at it. Saw the hole and sneaked his way through there. Two yard touchdown run. Hokies take the early lead after that great play on special teams play. Great field position at the 18 yard line and they convert. Shane Graham into attempt the extra point. 
There's the snap. It's good. Shane's extra point attempt is up, and it is good. Graham has been perfect in the first quarter of play. Virginia Tech leads Temple by a score of 7-0, and Tech Football Radio Broadcast. They've had eight scores, seven of those TDs. Catch another one onto that figure there. That's very impressive. Another kickoff for Virginia Tech's Jimmy Kibble. Another high kick going way, way into the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Hey, every time the Hokies score on Harvey, a sophomore from Paulsboro, New Jersey. The Hokies have eight men in the box. First down play. It is a running play. Stacy Mack trying to run left. Jamel Smith tripped him up um, for a moment. He breaks free from that tackle and is knocked down by Anthony Midget. Virginia Tech sophomore corner five and counting. First quarter. Al's driving from our left to our right. Corey Moore is in a defensive end on the left side now for Tech on this possession. There's the snap. They run the option play. The quarterback tries to keep it running right, tries to turn around, and he is pummeled and knocked down hard to the ground by Kerwin Hairston. Well, he just got a bad pitch here at some point. Third down and five. No gain on that play. Again, the Hokies have eight men right along the line of scrimmage. They're coming with an all-out blitz. Quarterback draw. Running across the 25 to the 30. First down run for Kevin Harvey. Ahead to the 34-yard line. Midway through the first quarter. 7-0. Virginia Tech in the lead. Back to throw is quarterback Kevin Harvey. Looking to the right. Lofts it up. And it's caught to the 35-yard line by Amarco Jackson. Spins ahead to the 38-yard line before Nate Williams brings him down. What? Berger watches on the sidelines on this play. Second down and four. The line of scrimmage, the Temple 39. Single back. Man in motion to the near side. Tight end on the left. Counter play. There goes Jackson across the 40 and knocked down after pickup of about a yard by the Hokies' Hairston, who has been a key seed. Now a third receiver in motion to the left. Third down and short. Back to throw is the quarterback, Harvey, in the pocket, gunning it down the field. It's caught on the Hokies' 46-yard line for a first down by Carter. Green was the I-41 to go in the first quarter. 7-0, Virginia Tech leading. But now the Owls have it on the Tech 46. Here's another option play to the right side. They pitch it to Mack. Turns the corner at the 40. Breaks a tackle at the 30. Down the sidelines and pushed out of bounds on the 22-yard line by Steve Tate. Tech 22-yard line. Hokies lead the game by a score of 7-0. Ball on the right hash mark. There's the snap to Harvey. Option play to the left. Turns it back up inside. Carl Bradley and Tate and Lambeau corral him and knock him down. Receivers split to either side. The backs are in the eye. Johnstone and Almarco Jackson. Back to throw is Harvey in the pocket. Gunning it left side. Up for grabs and it is incomplete. Caught on the one yard line but out of bounds was Kevin Walker who beat Larry Green on that play. Thing situation. The tight end is on the left. Two receivers to the right for the Owls. Back to throw is Harvey in the pocket. Gunning it underneath. It's caught at the 20-yard line by Almarco Jackson. And he runs ahead to the 15. I'm not sure how that ball was not intercepted. From the right hash mark, there is the snap. And Nichols' kick is in the air. And it is good. So Temple on the board. 7-3. to three. Hokie 7. Temple 3. And our coverage continues in a moment. On the Virginia Tech ISP. To take that lead 7 to nothing, but they go right down the field, get the 34 yard field goal, and it's 7 to 3. All right, Nichols will kick it off to Scales. The Virginia Tech return man is standing on his own 7. We are due for a kickoff return for a touchdown. You know, the Hokies don't have one of those in Big East play yet. Here is the kickoff to Scales. Let's see if he can do it. Fields it on the 6, running it right to the 10, gets to the 15, and at the 20 yard line, he's knocked down very hard, spun around and knocked down to the ground by Temple's. Lamond Adams, though so they are missing their top cornerback now as well. First down for the Owls on the 21-yard line. First down running play. The toss is to Ken Oxendine. Started left, now runs back right ahead of the 23-yard line, and he's knocked down hard on the right side by Rob Kelly. Kind of broke it back across the field, but Temple's pursuit was there. Hokies have uh, six plays tonight. Six runs, zero passes. Clark. On second down, hands it off to Oxendine again, running to the right, and knocked down for all ye. Loss of a yard again. Nation now. Stewie is wide right. Scales and Harrison wide to the left. Out of the shotgun. Al Clark back to throw. Good protection. Waiting all day. Lofting it down the field. It's intercepted. And Temple will get it. As Al Clark threw the football right to Jerry Urias. Teams in the Big East this year so far. The Hokies in Miami. First down for Virginia Tech. Ball is out to the 32-yard line. Option play. Give it to the fullback. And Cullen Hawkins gets ahead for two yards on that belly give. And Robert on the left. The line of scrimmage is the Virginia Tech 35-yard line. Tech is driving from right to left. 
The Owls crowd the line of scrimmage. Another running play to Ken Oxendine. Running right, crosses the 37 to the 38-yard line, and Pepe Pichette minutes to go in the first quarter. The backs are Cullen Hawkins and Ken Oxendine. They're in the eye. Wide side of the field is to the left. Temple showing blitz. They've got eight guys along the line of scrimmage. Now Clark checks off of the line. And it's a drop play, and the give is to Oxendine. He runs left for the first down, ahead of the 44-yard line, running right behind Derrick and he has eight carries, 22 yards, and a touchdown in the quarter. First down throw for Tech. Out of the shotgun. Clark throwing it over the middle. Oxendine had it and then was knocked down, and it's incomplete. He was hit hard. Right, he's now 0 for 1. A minute 12 to go in the first quarter. 7 to 3, Virginia Tech leading. Hokies driving right to left. Here's the option play. Give it to the fullback again, and Hawkins gets to the 50 for a pickup of 5 before Burgess brought him down. 35% percentage. Third down, ball on the 50. Temple blitzing, Clark the shotgun snap, rolling right, fires on the run, and Scales dropped it on the 43-yard line. He was wide open, and Clark could have run for the first down. As Carter is the deep man, Jimmy's on his own 37. There's the snap to him, and he boots it away, and Carter calls for the fair catch and lets it hit at the 10. There's Midget to track it down inside the five. They'll call it the four-yard line. A wonderful job by Midget. Actually, well, Temple takes over on its own eight-yard line late in quarter number one. 24 seconds to go in the quarter. On first down, the Owls try to run it by giving it to Stacy Mack, the fullback. He runs into Chris Cyrus after he picked up a yard. Um, oh, we got an injury here. It's uh, inside the 20. Temple starts the second quarter going right to left. They're on their own 10-yard line. Second down and eight play. There's a give to the fullback, bursting free up the middle to the 15 and 20, 25 and 30, and ahead of the 34-yard line. Brent Johnstone tackled by Prelo, who saved the touchdown. The fullback on the belly play on the... Corey Bird has played the whole game at the whip line backer spot for Tech. Another option play to the left. Quarterback keeping it knocked down behind the line of scrimmage back on the 30 by the Hokies' Corey Bird. The option is not working for Virginia Tech. John's had that tough shoulder injury. Second down and long. Hokies blitz. Harvey back to throw. Giving ground. Back on the 15. Still giving ground to the 10. And down he goes. It's a sack all the way back there by Bird. They're going to say he's down on the 15. That's a tough spot. He was still on his feet back at the 10 where Bird threw him down. It's another sack for the Hokies. Their 10th of the year. And they lost. A Hokies are in a zone. Carpenter and Frail of the safeties. 20 yards downfield. Back to throw is Kevin Harvey. On his own five-yard line. Gunning into the near sidelines. And it is incomplete. In front of the Temple bench area. And it will be fourth and long. Corey Bird had... Out of bounds. Good call by the official. Boyce is standing on his one-yard line. Temple with a new punt protection now. Only one man protecting the kicker. Punt is away by Boyce. A high spiral. Waiting for it is Scales on his own 33. Gives ground to the 30. Running it left side of the 40. Crosses the 45 and ahead of the 47-yard line before Bussett. Brings him down there. It'll be first down. You were 7 7 in the second quarter before the Owls blew it open. First down throw for Al Clark out of the shotgun. The junior rolling to his right. Good protection and throws it out of bounds. Intended for Scales, who was open again tonight. Second down and 10. Three receiver formation once again. Al backpedaling, looking to throw. Fakes the screen to the right, throws it to the left, and it's dropped. Cullen Hawkins dropped the football. Perfect throw that time. Hokies have great field position to start this drive, but now two incompletions leaves them with third and ten. Again out of the shotgun. Al back to throw. Temple blitzing. Al gunning it down the field. Scales has it on the 39-yard line. First down, and he's knocked down hard by the Owls defensive back, Jerry Urias. There's a good systems and rentals. 12-10 to go, first half. Hokie 7, Temple 3. Once more, the Owls show blitz. Hokies hand the football to Oxendine, running left, with a blocker in front of him, crosses the 30, and ahead of the 29-yard line. That's a pickup of about a dozen for the Ox, running left. Burgess again made the tackle, and Kenny has 33 yards on the game. He had 163 against these guys last year. Option play to the right, and slow and getting started. Now Clark running right, track down from behind. By left, the center is Washington. No tight end, three receivers and two backs. The line of scrimmage is the 28 of Temple. A shotgun snap to Al Clark. Great protection. Looking left, looking right, gunning it down the field. Uh, Cullen Hawkins, he makes a great grab on the two-yard line, but a penalty marker is thrown. Now the official is overruled. The umpire overruling the line judge. Very intimidating, but not here. 
Second down and 26. Hokies back on the Temple 43. Clark back to throw, gunning it over the middle. It is caught by Oxendine on the 30. Penalty marker thrown as Ken runs all the way to the 21-yard line. And now a second penalty marker comes in as well. Yep. Burgess made the tack three-yard line. And the Hokies have had more penalties on this position. Second down and 40. Shotgun snap. And an option pitch to the left side. Oxendine running across the 45 to the 50. And ahead of the 45-yard line. Tackle was made by Robert Kelly. That's yep, Shane Graham's had a good year, had a good pregame warm-up as well. This humidity here tonight, it is very, very muggy here. You could kick a long field goal. Temple blitzing Clark on third and long. He guns it down the field, and it's caught on the 30-yard line. Back almost to the original line of scrimmage by Harrison. Ball carry. Shane Graham attempting a 47-yard field goal. There's the snap. Spot is down. Shane swings the leg through. Kick is in the air, but wide to the right. No good. It had the distance. But wide. Right. Pichette, possible concussion. He's a defensive lineman. XL Lucas, left corner, possible concussion. He has not returned. First down and 10, ball on the 30 for Temple. They run the option play. Running it right is their quarterback, Kevin Harvey. And he scoots along this turf for a pickup of six, running around the right side before. Can hang around, boy, it makes it tough for the other team. Second down, ball is on the right hash mark on the 38 yard line. Quarterback hands the football off to Mack, right into the left side, and the tailback runs across the 40. That's a first down. This smash mouth football for Temple there, right along with Walker. The backs are in the eye on first down and 10 from the left hash mark. Another big hole. There goes on Marco Jackson running to the 50 to the 40, breaking free to the secondary to the 30 to the 20, and he will go all the way for a Temple touchdown. It is a 55 yard run for El Marco Jackson, and Temple has the lead. Yep, that's what you talk about, Bill. You give him that little breathing room. A big stop by the defense, a missed field goal. The offense opens up some great holes. And Corey Bird dove for him at the last second there, but he shook that away, and they take it in for the nice touchdown run. And the Owls take the lead on the Hokies. Nine. Here's Boyce into attempt, or rather Nichols into attempt the extra point. It is good. Temple leads. First half. Five. 55. That's okay. Good job. That's all right. Back in this first half. We've seen some missed tackles as well there, Bill, especially on that series there. Here is the kickoff coming back to Tech. And boys, a great kick on way into the end zone. And Scales will field it about eight yards. A 55-yard run. And the Temple Owls have the lead here, 10-7. Pagese is into the game of tailback. Takes the handoff on first down. Runs to the 21-yard line and is thrown down hard by an excited out. Right. Pagese picked up two on that play. Second down and eight. He and Ellison are the backs. Marcus Parker not playing tonight. We haven't seen Engelberger either since early in the first. Here's another running play to McGeese. Running left. He got ahead of the 26-yard line for four before God up under center Todd Washington. Ellison is the fullback. McGeese at the tail. Temple with seven men up on the line. Here's an option give to the fullback. And Ellison powers his way for the first down ahead of the 38-yard line before Urias made the tackle. Again, the Hokies go without the huddle. And a shotgun snap to Clark, throwing it to the near side, and the pass is batted down at the line of scrimmage by a big defensive line. scrimmage is the Tech 37. 10 to 7, Temple leading. We are midway through quarter number two. Here's another option given to the fullback. And look at Ellison powering his way across the 45-yard line. Got about nine on that play. McCallum the tackle. All right, the tight end is Sullivan on the right. Hokies driving left to right with 6.15 to go in this first half. Temple now with nine guys up along the line of scrimmage on third down and one. Clark changing off of the line of scrimmage. They're showing blitz. And now hands the ball to McGeese. And he runs left, cuts back right, and has the first down going behind Washington. Jones the tackle. Not much of a downfield. 10 to 7. The Owls lead it. The go ahead touchdown, a 55 yard run by El Marco Jackson. First down throw. Al Clark backpedaling, looking right, guns it, and it's short and incomplete. Had uh, Hawkins open at about the 48. And Several years by the Hokies, Bill. In fact, the last five, really. And that style of defense works if you got the players. Second down and long. Here's a handoff to Oxendine, who had just replaced Pegues running left. And nothing doing on the left side for Ken on second and ten. Got maybe two yards. Michael Stewie is the wide out to the left. Out of the shotgun. Here comes a Temple Blitz. Al Clark running with the football. Crosses the 50 to the 45 and down on the 40. First down. 
Al scampering up the middle for the first down. Let's pause now. Ten seconds for State. Well, he took it all the way. The quarterback draw and picks up a nice game. Begeese back in at tailback. Gildersleeve in at flanker. Here's an option play. Clark running left. Gets ahead for a yard and is knocked down at the line of scrimmage by defensive backs out. Second down and ten. Clark goes back to throw. Looking over the middle, throws over the middle. It is caught by Scales at the 30-yard line on a button hook. Runs ahead for the first down to the 16 before Burgess brought him down. A six-yard line. Hokies trailed at the moment, 10 to 7. Again out of the shotgun with Temple showing blitz. Here they come. Everybody's coming. Clark's got to throw it. He lets it fly. It's caught at the 19-yard line by Harrison. Shy of a first down, but good read by Harrison. Second down and two. Tech sticking with the shotgun now with 2.47 to go in counting. Clark takes it, shovel pass to Hawkins, catching it at the 18-yard line, running ahead, and near the first down, he is knocked down along the line of scrimmage and then pushed backward uh, by fullbacks. Hawkins and Shelly Ellison. Third down and one, handoff to Oxendine. Running right, has the first down to the 15-yard line. Again, running behind DiNapoli on that play, and Williamson, the tackle, goes on the 15-yard line of Temple. Clark in the shotgun here with the ball from the left hash mark. There's the snap to Al. Running with the football, and down he goes to try the quarterback draw again. It was thrown down hard. That was Counts that got him. And the Hokies have a second down and 18 to go. They need to get to the five-yard line. He line of Temple, second down and 18 yards to go. Four receiver formation now for Virginia Tech. Driving left to right. From the 23, the snap to Clark. An inside handoff to Oxidine. Running right, gets to the 20, and now down to the 15-yard line to the near sidelines before Burgess. The four receivers in the game for the Hokies on third down. There's the shotgun snap to Clark in the pocket. Scrambling now. In trouble. He is sacked back at the 18-yard line. Back-to-back -back sacks. That was trip. Win Virginia Tech Shane Graham into attempt a 35-yard field goal. From the right hand. There's the spot. It's good. Shane swings the leg through. The kick is in the air. It is good. And that ties the game with five. Has dropped here in the last five minutes. Well, you look at the flags up above the stadium, Bill, and they have flattened standing on in, and the Gatorade Cup's fifth time coming up. Well, 10-10 is the score. The Hokies got the ball to start the game, their first possession on the Temple 18-yard line, and drove in quickly to take us with a swirling wind. All right, now the kickoff from Kibble. I think you're right, Mike. you got to try to scrub it here. Let's see. Yep. Kicks it along the ground, and a Temple up man just falls on it. Doesn't even try to pick it up, and with three seconds, really whip it up there. Temple's going to take a knee. The quarterback, Kevin Harvey, takes the snap and just goes on a knee there, and that'll be the end of the first half. A good one for Temple. 10-10 the score here at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Interesting. 10-10 is the score. We've got the second half coming up in a moment after this from the U.S. Postal Service. Rain, rain. Well, here we go. Second half from Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, and the kickoff is coming back to the Hokies. Sean Scales, second half is underway. Scales at the 5, runs out to the 10, breaking free at the 20. Scales at the 30. Right sideline running across midfield. Scales in the Temple territory, down the sideline to the 30. And the Hokies will start there, first and 10. It's the longest kickoff return for Tech since they joined the Big East. First down on the 30. Boy, what a great job by Sean Scales. A healthy Sean Scales makes such a difference. He sat out most of two days with that hamstring problem, Bill, but the wall was set up perfectly, had the right return on, and he had... With Cullen Hawkins and Oxendine behind Al Clark. First play of the half, a run to Oxendine. Up the middle of the 25 to the 20, bursting free to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Tech! Now that's the way to come to Philadelphia and start the second half. Hokies have the lead. They have stunned Temple with a long return and the 30-yard Oxendine run. Well, you talk about having a great script for the third quarter now. Doesn't get any better than that, Bill. A great kickoff return. First down at the 30-yard line, and Ox reels it off virtually untouched over the right side. Some great blocking there. He turned on the afterburners. Nobody was going to catch him. Oxendine now has 93 yards on the game. And the Hokies have taken the lead just 24 seconds into the second half. Shane Graham into attempt the extra point. Kick is in the air. Kick is good. 17 to 10, Virginia Tech. Scales and Oxendine start the second half for Tech, and the Hokies retake the lead. And our Tech Radio Network coverage of Hokies football continues after this from State Farm Insurance. Can you believe they reset? 
we would have ran that reprise stage or we missed that kickoff. Yep. I was looking at that. It got to 350 and then it was reset. That's ridiculous. Oh well. Good work, Bill Nevin. Saving my backside again. You may not have time for anything this time. They're rocking. It's supposed and to be set. That's what that guy in that red hat is supposed to do. Well. Virginia Tech's Jimmy Kibble will kick the football back to Temple. Second kickoff in the opening 30 seconds of this half. It's a high kick but returnable. Carter from the one yard line. Runs it out to the five and ten and down he goes. We've got a fumbled football. It's picked up by Tech on the 14 yard line. Let's see if they say he was down. Yes. They're saying the return man was down. What a hit by Edmund. Holy smokes. Carter is still down. That is the toughest hit we have seen in many years since Tony Banks had a hit like that at Southern Miss, Mike. You'll recall that game. Edmund flat out laid out Carter with a tremendous hit. Well, you talk about going 100 miles an hour now. There was two guys on a collision course. And <laughs> I'm telling oh. you, he just took a lick. Violent collision we've seen in a long time. Well, the Hokies certainly have come out and laid the wood to him here Mike the first three plays of the second half a 65 yard kickoff return by scales a 30 yard touchdown run by Oxendine in which all the Temple linemen were laying on the ground as Ox ran over the line of scrimmage and now that kickoff return well I'm sure that Frank Beamer at halftime he doesn't feel very good he's been fighting a cold all week doesn't sound very good but I'm sure he came up with some choice words for this football team they're supposed to be in the top 20 ranked and they're coming out of this game in halftime and you look at the stats boy they're very very close Hokies had the ball for five minutes on the play probably has no idea where he is. What a great hit this is they're going to have to get a gurney out and wheel him off this is the fourth Temple player staff of Temple so now the Owls have it first down on the 14 yard line. Well that was a good kickoff by Kibble it was very very Hokies lead it. 17 to 10. Temple has the football on its own 14 yard line. The Owls first play from scrimmage in the second half is a running play to Mack and he runs into Cyrus and fumbled the football. It's loose on the field. The Hokies come up with it and again they say the ball carrier was down. Just across the Temple 16 yard line. Hokies with eight men up along the line of scrimmage. Temple's offense in the offset eye. There's the snap of the quarterback. The turn in the hand of the tailback Mack. He runs into Carpenter who pops him hard and down he goes. No gain on the play. Keon Carpenter the junior from Baltimore with us the ends. We've not seen Engelberger tonight. Third down and six back to throw is the quarterback. He's hit as he throws. It's caught over the middle by Kersey at the 25 to the 30 breaking free at the 35 and he's out to the 37 yard line. Hokies blitzed him. He was hit as he threw but he can classroom at Virginia Tech. Remember you can purchase a touchdown tech t-shirt and support the A-Tech program yourself at the Tech Bookstore Main Street in Blacksburg. Al Marco Jackson tailback running on first and 10 tripped up at the line of Tech 17 and Temple 10 winner first place team in the conference from the middle of the field and the 39 they run it again to a Marco Jackson and a huge hole up the middle he runs ahead near the first down to the 47 yard line before Tate there is 285 Oster's the right guard and the right tackle Leach is 322 so they are humongous up there. First down and 10. They hand it off again. Running left is El Marco Jackson. Turning the left corner. Knocked down as a penalty marker comes in by Carpenter. Right in front of Virginia Tech's bench, which is on the on their own 37-yard line. Wide side of the field is to the right. Backs are in the eye. A fumbled snap and a loose ball on the field and a big pile down there. I think the quarterback, Kevin Harvey, fell Pulled up on me. He had about 20 to 10. Second down and 22. Quarterback Harvey takes the snap. Scrambling to his right. Being chased by Smith. Gunning it deep down the field. This pass is caught at the 25-yard line. First down, a marvelous grab by Kevin Walker. He popped it up into the air as he beat Lauren Johnson, and then on his backside, caught it a second time. First down, popped the ball up into the air to himself and then caught it while he was laying on his fanny. First down from the 21. The give is to Stacy Mack, and the tailback gets ahead for a yard before Steve Tate brings it. Second down and nine, ball on the 20. The backs are side by side. 
Wide receiver Kevin Walker coming in motion to the left. Back to throw. Quarterback Kevin Harvey scrambling now, running ahead back to the line of scrimmage and ahead of the 19 before Danny Wheel. Five of eight passing for 89 yards. Now he's got third down and eight on the check, 19. Harvey back to throw. Hokies blitz him. He fires it quickly. It is caught by Kersey at the 11-yard line, and he spins to the 10. Very near first down. Again, Tate made the tackle. Twin receivers to the right, Kersey and Kevin Walker. First and 10 from the 11. Here's a drop play. Max stutter up the middle, now runs left. Tries to get outside, but can't turn the corner. Knocked down along the line of scrimmage on the far side. By the Basically going with two receivers tonight. Kersey and Walker, a pair of seniors. Split to either side now. Al Marco Jackson in motion to the left. Back to throw is Harvey. Lofting it out of the end zone incomplete. He had to get rid of it. Danny, or rather, uh, ball is on the left hash mark. Wide side to the right. The backs are side by side. Johnstone and Al Marco Jackson. Hokies come to get the quarterback. He lofts it underneath to Jackson. Caught it at the 10. There's a missed tackle, but he's finally wrestled down along the line of scrimmage. Carpenter missed the initial tackle, but then Lauren Johnson knocked him down. It is He's a soccer-style kicker wearing number 13. There's the snap to him. It's perfect. Ball is in the air, and the kick is good. So with seven minutes to go in the third. drive build started back on their own 14 yard line the 26 yard field goal brings the owls 17 13 a great drive they put together another kickoff this time they kick it away from scales and squib it ball pops free to Kendrick can't fall on it loose ball and the Hokies Cullen Hawkins jumps on it on the final score JMU leading UMass 13 to 7 in the third William and Mary losing to New Hampshire 24 22 first down and running with the football is Al Clark, and the Tech quarterback crosses the 22 to the 23 yard. Six yards on that play, second down and four on the 23. Tech driving right to left in the white jerseys with the white pants and the handoff on second down to Ken Oxendine. Crosses the 25 to the 30. A first down run to the 34 yard line. Time to go. Six minutes to go in the third. Line of scrimmage, the Tech 34. They give it to the Ox again. Running right, crosses the 35. Look at the pile move to the 39-yard line. Strong legs by Oxendine. And down and four. Ball on the 40. Tech driving right to left. The Owls in a 5-2 look on this play. Al hands it off to the Ox. Started right. Beautiful cut back left. Crosses the 45 to the 50. Into Temple territory to the 45 and down to the 44 before Counts brought him down. Oxendine now churn, uh, churning up the... Had over 500 yards of offense against him. You should be able to move the ball on Temple considering the injuries they've had as well. First down run to Ken Oxendine again, running right, gets ahead for about three yards on the right side of the Temple 40-yard line. Robert Kelly, the left end out of the... He stayed out there the whole time. Wide side of the field is to the left. The line of scrimmage is the 39-yard line. Play action fake. Clark gunning it to the near side to Scales, catching it to the 42. Outside to the 35, down the sidelines. First down to the 30 before Calvin... Hawkins and Fagis are the backs. Hokies playing tonight without Marcus Parker with that bum right knee. First down, run to Fagis with fresh legs, running outside of the 30, ahead of the 28-yard line before Counts brings him down. He's a quick little guy. Not that little. More yards tonight that Oxendine becomes only the 10th player in Tech history to reach the 2,000-yard mark in his career. Second down. Counterplay running right is Pegues. Tries to get outside at the 30 yard line, sprinting to the sidelines, and the Owls force him out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Urias in the game. Third down, eight yards to go from the 28 of Temple. Now out of the shotgun. Temple blitzing Clark. Fakes the pass to the right, throws it to the left, and Hawkins dropped it again. Fourth drop pass tonight. Hawk ball by Caleb Hurd on the 34. Shane takes the snap and hits a long field goal. And it is good. That's a long one for Graham, and the Hokies make it 20 to 13. Career long kick for Graham, 44 yarder. Excellent job, a nice drive. The Hokies started back on their own 17 yard line. 10 plays extend their lead, 20 to 13. 2.54 to go, third quarter. Timeout on the field. Time to hear. Another kickoff coming back to Temple from Kibble. That's a high kick. 
And it's fueled along the 10 yard line by Almarco Jackson running it out to the 15 and 20 and going ahead of the 27 yard line. Is that a flag on the field or a cup? All ourselves a good game tonight. Uh, 20 to 13 Hokies leading late in quarter number three. Devil with the football on its own 29 a first down run to Mack and he crosses the 32 yard line before he's in glass in Lynchburg. Again the Temple offensive line bill doing a nice job there. They're getting little pieces of daylight there and it's really forcing the linebackers to make a lot of tackles. Nice gain again about three four yards. Hoagies oh, felt the Temple would be a good running throwing the ball well tonight. We have not seen Bonner once in this game. Second down and six from the 33 and the Hokies jump. Second and one from the right hash mark for the Owls. Driving from our left to right. Here's a handoff to Jackson. He fumbles the football. It's rolling free. Still rolling free. The official blew the whistle and the ball is still rolling, Mike. He blew the whistle and the ball was free. The Hokies fell on it, but he blew the whistle down first. First down and 10 with a minute 23 to go. Ball is on the 42 yard line. There's an option play. Give it to the fullback. And he runs across the 45 to the 46 before when the Biggie schedule was made. And they assigned the officials for Temple, Virginia Tech. They didn't give us the A team. <laughs> what do you think? I have no comment. They have made only a seven point lead here. Clock running, 45 seconds left here in the third. Second down and seven. There's an option play to the left. Give to the fullback. Johnstone runs up the middle of the 50 and picked up about seven. It'll be Fuddy Tech, ISP Sports Network. Third down for Temple and an option play. And Harvey, the quarterback, keeping it on the option, running to the left side, and he has the first down running left. Broken. Temple has put the ball on the ground four times in this quarter. Hokies have done some hitting, but the Owls have been able to gain yardage on the Hokies defense effectively. Option play, busted play again. Quarterback running ahead got a yard, and that is it before Corey Bird brought him down. Kevin Harvey took the snap. I wonder if it'll jump curbs. We'll make it up. Don't score a touchdown. Well, the Hokies. Defense on the field and Temple's throw down the field is caught to the 30 yard line as Kevin Harvey lobbed it to the right side and 195 real nifty. He's been hard to get to back there. He's made good throws. First down and 10 a running play. Mack up the middle ran into Smith. Missed the tackle now scrambles to the near side and got to the 29 yard line. Pick up of a yard. Got it on the Hokies 29 yard line. 12.50 to go. The backs are in the eye. Wide side of the field is to the right. The Owls drive right to left. Back to throw is the quarterback Harvey. Dumps it off on the right side to Jackson. Breaks a tackle. Fumbled the football. It's loose on the field and Carpenter comes up with it for Tech. That was going to be a big gain. He had it all the way to the 25 and had room in front of him. And the ball popped free and the Hokies Carpenter falls on it. We'll look on the replay to see if someone knocked that ball free. Might have been Brad. And John Engelberger with the shoulder injury. And now with 12.39 to go in the game, Tech has it first and 10. First down run, Ken Oxendine plowing across the 25 to the 27 yard line. Larry Chester makes the tackle. Gildersleeve and Harrison are the receivers to the right. The center is Washington in the middle of the field. Snaps it back to Clark, turns and hands it to Oxendine. Struggling ahead left for one and then in typical. Third and four on the 28 yard line from the left hash mark. And Clark checking off at the line of scrimmage. Temple again in that 5 2 look defensively. There's the snap, turn, hand to Oxendine. Look out, Kenny, they're all over him. Five yards behind the line of scrimmage, and he fumbles it. It's loose on the field, rolling towards the end zone. And the Temple team has it on the six. And there's a flag on the play. Al Unless Clark. His bag. Well, the ball was going into the end zone, and Al Clark batted it back, and you're not allowed to bat the football. He'll get penalized for batting. And Oxendine's fumble. Gives the ball to Temple on the six. Yeah, you, know, you got to stop forward progress there, Bill. Obviously, he was going backwards the wrong way. You've got to blow the whistle there. I mean, there's no way. They're still trying to sort through this, although Temple's offense is coming on the field. Return man is Lucas on the 45 yard line of 10. 
20 to 13 tech leading 11 minutes to go in the game or at least in regulation. Here's Kibble punting it away in a high spiral of beauty. Lucas calls for the fair catch and takes it on the 44 yard line of Virginia. Are in the eye on the wide side of the field is to the right 20 to 13 Hokies leading first down throw for quarterback. Kevin Harvey lofting it down the field and it is broken up incomplete broken up by Larry Green. They try to post pattern Green and Charlton were there touchdowns but the Owls have been very very tough much improved second down option play to the right pitch to Mack crosses the 40 still on his feet at the 35 a first down to the 32 yard line Corey Burr wide side of the field is to the left the backs are in an offset eye there is the snap and the handoff to Mack and he crosses the 30 to that of the 27 yard line before Moore brought him down you expect for Temple their most significant game in quite a while maybe ever in the Big East Second down and six on the 27 yard line. Al's driving right to left. On the tech 27. There's the snap. Penalty markers thrown. The give is to Marco Jackson. And he ran back to the line of scrimmage before Danny Wheel. Offside. Defense. Five yard penalty. Replay second down. Hokey Franz across the way have not had a three. Two receivers to the left for the Owls on second down and one. Option play to the left. Quarterback keeping it. Open room. 20. Down to the 15. And he's wrestled down on the 13 yard line by Bird again. Freddie has a shocker this week. Now Temple's trying it here tonight at the vet. First down for the Owls. A running play. Mack up the middle of the 10. Down to the 6 yard line. Boy, they're blowing open huge holes on that defensive line. Car at 8 12 to go in the fourth quarter. Okies lead 20 13 other running play Mack up the middle drop the ball rolling free on the field and the Hokies have it on the six. Boy was there ever a turnover that needed to happen for the Hokies some vicious hitting again going on down there the Hokies come up with a fumble recovery at the six yard line great play by the defense. You know you look at the second is on the line right now deep in their own territory at the seven yard line first and ten on the seven first down run Oxendine running left got to about the ten yard line and that is it before he was brought down by Chester Mikey I beg your pardon second down and six ball is on the eleven yard line after the five yard pickup here's another give to Ken Oxendine he runs off left tackle across the 15 out of the 20 yard line that'll be a first down for the Ox Damian Jones on the tackle but now backs are in the eye receiver split to either side tech driving from our left to right here's an option play and Al Clark keeps it this time got ahead for about a half a yard and they knock him down there things will slack off I think the same thing is true on defense without Engelberger second down Deep handoff to Ken Oxendine running left now cuts it back to the right to the 27 yard line as the clock hits the six minute mark Jermaine Roberts sight. four receivers in the game Gildersleeve Stewie Harrison and Scales third and four Temple blitzing here's a quick throw from Clark to Scales over the middle it is complete at the 35 ahead of the 39 yard line of first down Urias made the tackle. This is where that conditioning that fourth quarter with Mike Gentry pays off Bill the team the most desire in the better shape. Shotgun snap to Clark and give to Oxendine. Kenny running left. Penalty marker thrown. He runs ahead of the 47 yard line. 458 to go. That could be a negative 20 on Ken's rushing total. So we got him for 152 gained, but that's not his net total. 443 to go. First down run. Oxendine has it again. Running to the 40 yard line. Carrying a man with him ahead of the 35 yard line. Another big run for the Ox. Jermaine Roberts makes the tackle. Wow. The line of scrimmage is the Temple 35 yard line. First and 10. Handoff running right. Pegues ran right into the left defensive end of the 33 yard line. That was Marcus Counts. Game clock is at 20 seconds. Play clock that is at 20. Game clock at 330. From the shotgun now. There's the snap to Al. Fakes the pass to the right. Now lofting it deep into the end zone. He's got Stewie wide open. He can't hold on. Incomplete. Holy moly. Had him wide open. They faked the flanker screen. Tight end on the right. The backs are Cullen Hawkins and Oxendine. There's the snap. Temple blitzing. Clark lofting it left side. Stewie down there at the five. A layout grab. He got it. 
on the five-yard line. First and goal. Oh, he made up for it there. Another great play. The Hokies check. Two tight ends in the game now for the Hokies. Ball is on the left hash mark. And that power eye formation. Here's Oxendine running ahead. And Kenny gets down to the three-yard line before he's knocked down by McCallum. Clocker with 2.25 to go. They lead it 20-13. Second down and goal to go. The line of scrimmage is the Temple two-yard line. There's the handoff, and running right is Oxendine, and he's knocked down behind uh, the two, closer to the three, by Lucas again. 1.45 to go in the game. Third down and goal on the two-yard line. Okies give the ball to Oxendine again. He runs right, gets down to the one-yard line, and a penalty marker was thrown in, and an illegal shift called on Tech. Gilder sleeve and Stewie wide right with a minute 23 to go in the game. There's the shotgun snap to Clark. Quarterback draw, keeping it to the 10, to the 5, spinning to the goal line, and knocked down on the one-yard line. It's fourth down and goal. Hmm. Just like just where it was a moment ago. Clock's had it all set up over there. It's going to be 18 yards. Tough angle from the right hash. 52 seconds to go. There is the spot. Shane Graham's kick is in the air. It's up. It's good. And with 48 seconds, we've got the kickoff coming up next after this from Budweiser. With 8 seconds remaining in the game, Hokies lead 23-13, and Jimmy Kibble kicking the football back to Temple. And a good kickoff, and the return man waiting for it, and fields it at the goal line, running it out of the 5 to the 10, and upended after he crosses the 20, and they'll spot him out at about the 25-yard line. That was Lorenzo. 44 and 35 yards. 42 seconds left. Now the Owls have got to get two scores. First down, back to throw is the QB. Hokies come to get him, and they've got him. It's a sack all the way back on the 22-yard line by Nate Williams as... Four seconds. Back to throw is the quarterback in the pocket, scrambling now and sacked again back on the 16-yard line. Williams got him again. Hey, hey, back-to-back -back sack attack for Nate Williams and a timeout by Temple. Beavers in the game, and the Hokies are... Rushing four and dropping seven on this play. Back to throw is the QB. He's been sacked twice in a row. Back on his own 10-yard line. Running with the football now, and he steps out of bounds on the 21-yard line to avoid the sack. All right, this should be the final play of the game, barring a penalty against Tech. Fourth down, back to throw. QB in the pocket. QB scrambling and heaving it deep down the field. This ball is out of bounds, incomplete. Game clock winds out, but we do have a penalty marker thrown on the play. 23 to 13, and they get out of town just in time. It was not pretty tonight. It was a well-played game by Temple, though. Boy, did they play great. And the fumble by Mack on the Tech six yard, 3-0 overall. Temple drops to 1-3, one 1-1 and three, one and one in Big East play. We've got three and Owls 13. This is the Virginia Tech ISP Sports Network. Huh? I can't hear you. Why don't you just go over wait at the official stats place and just go ahead and bring him in back. Hey, on that play where Ox fumbled, Nate fell on the...